good. Thanks for checking out True Blue Bobbleheads. We are the True Blue Bobblehead crew. I am Turbo. And I'm Ben. And today it's November 25th, 2015, and the Dodgers just released their 2016 promotional schedule. They sure did. And what did it include? Bobbleheads. Yes. Ten. Ten bobbleheads for 2016. Exactly. Along with other things. So we want to kind of just tell you about our reaction to what they, uh, the bobbleheads that they did announce. They only announced yeah. five out of the ten, so we're going to talk about those. Later on, we'll go ahead and make other videos once they announce the other bobbleheads, and then I'll put that link in the description below. So make sure you check back later to see if we did a video, and we will definitely do a video. All right. Um, let's get to now, it. Now, we're doing it the same day that the promotional schedule was leaked, and the reason yes. we wanted to do it because we got excited, and we wanted to jump yeah. on it and talk to you guys about it. We want to get, get the information out to our viewers. Yeah, so let's go ahead and, and, and talk about the first bobblehead for 2016. That is the Clayton Kershaw bobblehead given away on April 25th. Versus the Marlins. Okay, so let me give my thoughts on it. All right. It's the fourth bobblehead on Clayton Kershaw. Sure. Yeah. I love Clayton Kershaw. I've said in the past videos before that I like you know when they when they give out bobblehead when he has a career achievement. So last year they gave out another Kershaw bobblehead with the Cy Young and MVP. Yeah. Well deserved. This year, I mean, they could have probably given it to someone else because I like to see when they change it up a little bit. But they have the opportunity to do something different with it. Put Kershaw on the away jersey. Uh, a practice jersey or something different. So I hope they do that with this one. Exactly. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, same thing. I hope they do something different. They've done, you know, several bobbleheads, you know, in the past four years now. So I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. You know, they normally give him a bobblehead every year now because he's the face of the franchise. You know, mm -hmm. he's, he, when you talk about the Dodgers, you think about Clayton Kershaw. So I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. He's very well deserved and, and we'll see. So, yeah. Let's okay. go on to number two. So the second bobblehead is the new Dodger manager, and that's Dave Roberts. Exactly. Now, that bobblehead will be given out on May 11, 2016, versus the Mets. Your thoughts? All right, well, Dave Roberts, you know, like Turbo said, he, you know, he's a new 2016 manager of the Dodgers. You know, I'm excited. He's very well-deserved. Normally, you know, like, if we get a new manager, they're going to get a bobblehead already. Same, you know, Don Manley did it. Joe Torre, like you said before, did it as well. And now Dave Roberts. So I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. And, uh... That's about it, you know? Yeah, I mean, the same thing for me. It was expected. Yeah. Uh, you know, they give out a bobblehead every time a Dodger Manly comes out, which is fine. I'm happy with it. Yeah. There was a little backlash last time when Don Manley got one right away because he was like, well, he hasn't done much as a Dodger. He's already yeah. got one. I'm like, he's a Dodger manager. You know, he'll go down in history as one of the Dodger managers. I think in L.A. history that there's been only 10 Dodger managers. So yeah, especially when we're, giving, yeah, we're, when we're giving away 10 bobbleheads in a year, you could fit one in there for a manager. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're spoiled when it comes to getting bobbleheads. I know. Okay, so bobblehead number three will be taking place on May 25th versus the Reds, and they have not named that bobblehead yet, so that's to be determined. Exactly. Okay, so the next bobblehead will be June 8th uh, versus the Rockies, and it's a Don Newcomb, Newcomb bobblehead. Now, Don Newcomb is well-deserving. He has had a great career as a ball player. He's a legend when it comes to it. Uh, World Series champion, rookie of the year, all-star. I mean, you name it, this guy's done it. Um, and I think he's well deserving. This will be his second bobblehead. The last bobblehead they did of him was, you know, uh, a few years ago, a while back. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to see the take on the new bobblehead. Yeah, and hopefully this one actually looks like him. Yeah, the last <laughs> one I didn't think looked like him too much. Yeah. Um, back then, that type of bobblehead they were giving out to me, they looked like caricatures. Yeah. You know, I think there was three different phases, but we'll talk about that later. You know, as far as the bobbleheads. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, we're excited about Don Newcomb getting another bobblehead. He's very well deserved. You know, one of the Dodger greats. And uh, that's it. You know, we're going to wait and see what this time around what it looks like. Yes, and the next bobblehead after that will take place on June 22nd it's versus the National Nationals, Nationals, which is well fitting because it will be of Dusty the Baker. Dusty Baker, the new Nationals manager. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, that was pretty cool, you know, and unique that Dusty Baker is going to get his bobblehead, um, you know. For managing with the Giants, going to the Reds, and now he's going to the Nationals. But deep down inside, he's a Dodger blue. So I'm excited to you know see his bobblehead and uh, see what they're going to incorporate and see what it's going to look like. So De gonna... I mean, definitely, Do uh, Dusty Baker is definitely one of the Dodger greats. You know, he is very loved by the fans. You mentioned the fact that he was the Giants manager. So to be a former Giants manager and still be beloved by the Dodger fans, you obviously speaks did, volumes. You obviously did something right when you were playing for the Dodgers. Uh, that yeah, and he's a fan favorite. So. Yeah. Good luck to Dusty and, and you know, and uh, with the Nationals, and we'll see how they do. But I mean, Dodgers are always going to come on the top, right? Exactly. All right. So the next bobblehead given out after that is July second, and versus the Rockies, and it's the 1981 Tri MVP bobblehead, which will show Pedro Guerrero, Ron mm -hmm. Say, and Steve Aker. Yeah. Well, like I said, the, the these bobbleheads that they give away when 
when they put multiple players on a bobblehead. It's pretty cool. I, mean, I like the idea. They look really cool, but they are a little fragile. You know, they're kind of delicate, hard to take care of sometimes. Sometimes they break when they're in the box. But, you know, all in all, I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. Hopefully, they make it a little bit different than the ones that they, they have done in the past. So, uh, we'll wait. Got to wait and see. Okay, yeah, and for me, you know, I like the idea. I think it's a cool idea. I think they're, it's well-deserving of all these individuals. It'll be the first time Pedro Guerrero and Steve Yeager will be on a ball with. Yeah. One of my personal Ron favorites Say. was Steve Yeager. Oh, Ron Say, too, of course, the Penguin. Mm -hmm. um, but Steve Yeager, I, I'm, I'm glad he finally got, you know, a ball with. It's not by himself, but it's with, you know, three group of MVPs from the 81 World Series, which is really, really cool, well-deserved. Yeah. Um, I think it's a cool idea. I don't like I don't like it because I don't like the small ones. I've yeah. talked about it before. They're just too fragile. They break too easily. And for whatever reason, the Quakes gave away a few dual ones this season. That's the Dodgers single A uh, affiliate team, minor league mm -hmm. affiliate team. Um, and they were very sturdy compared to the Dodger ones, you know. And I didn't hear no complaints about those. So I don't know. Hopefully, they find a way to make them better where they don't break so easily. That's only my only gripe about that. Yeah. Okay, so after that, the next bobblehead, and I'm just going to go ahead and list them off real quick because the next bobblehead, they haven't named any players to receive them yet or who, who's, who's going to be depicted on them. Um, the next bobblehead after that is going to be bobblehead number seven. It's July 26th versus the race. Bobblehead number eight will be against the Phillies, and it will be August 9th. Bobblehead number nine will be against the Giants, and it's August 25th. And bobblehead number 10 will be September 20th uh, versus the Giants again. Okay, so 10 bobbleheads, and this, they listed 5 of the um, 10. What do you think the other 5 will be? I don't know, just kind of, you know, predict the next 5. Uh, hopefully, you know, if the, the team stands where, where it is now. I would say maybe a Vance Slyke, uh, maybe a Chase Utley. Um, let's see what else we need. Yeah, Jock Peterson, uh, maybe a... a Another just know that Chase Utley is a free agent right now. Exactly, but you know if he stays with the team as he is right now, we could do a Chase Utley, a Jock Peterson. Um, what else did I say? A, um, a Corey Seager. Do a ball with a Corey Seager, and I would like to then to put throw a pitcher in there. A pitcher. I'm predicting they're going to do a pitcher bobblehead of a new pitcher that we're going to be getting on the team soon. So whoever that may be. But okay. we'll see. So I think um, I think that they, there's a possibility. I, a bobblehead I want to see is Corey Seager. Yeah, Corey definitely. Seager has been talked about a while as being the future of the Dodgers. And the fact that he started the postseason as the Dodgers starter shortstop uh, shows that he's going to be in the Dodgers organization for the long haul. Uh, I, I think he's going to be the starter okay. in 2016. So I really do believe that you know they will give him a bobblehead. I don't know if it's going to be this next season. I hope so. That would be really cool. Or if it's going to be the following season. But he'll get one soon. Another one that fans really want to see. Me too. I want to see Jock Peterson. Yeah. He kind of slowed down a little bit the second half of the season. And he didn't get as many starts as... Normal starter would for Santa Fe Phil, but um, I would like to see one. Um, a fan mentioned in a video before that um, he wants to see a job like a jock jumping over the wall for yeah, a ball, something like that. That would be really, really cool. Um, something I think they should bring back is the fan boat, fan boat bobblehead. I think that was a really, really cool concept and idea. Uh, past winners of that have been Joe Bimel and Brian Wilson, and also in the Brian Wilson year, AJ Ellis was in that running too and lost, but they actually added on that bobblehead. Yeah, and probably because they realized how popular it would be, because I'm, I'm glad they gave away a jealous yeah. one. So that was really, really cool. Um, yeah. Oh, another thing I think they may do. I notice every season Dodgers have a Star Wars night. Now, a lot oh, of teams yeah. have been jumping on the Star Wars bobblehead bandwagon. And at first sight, I was like, ah, that's kind of cheesy. I really actually really like them now, yeah. and I think it's really, really cool. So I think if the Dodgers do that, my only stipulation would be that they do it with a player uh, that has already had a bobblehead. An example would be an Andre Ethier. Do an Ethier Jedi. An Ethier Stormtrooper, you mentioned um, to me before uh, before this video, a Justin Turner one would be pretty cool. Yeah. You know, so something like that, doing a Star Wars theme one. They don't have a Star Wars uh, night that I noticed on here, so that could be a possibility. A lot of teams are doing it now, and a lot that they're really favoring. So totally. that'd be cool. Um, yeah, what what would be on your bobblehead wish list? Bobblehead wish list. What, one thing I can't get out of my mind that I think would be really, really cool is you know, since he's not going to be with the team no more, Mark McGuire. Do a Mark McGuire, Dodgers coach, bobblehead. I, I really like the guy. I think it would be such a cool bobblehead. That's on one of my wish lists. Uh, I would say it's going to be a wish for a long time because I, I don't think it's happening. I know. He's going to the Padres yeah. probably. But, yeah, that's your wish list, though. But it's a wish list. Yeah. It's a wish list. Do you have any others any wishes you can think of? Um, Another one of my wishes that I can think of. 
Let's see. Well, I'll let you think. Let me Maybe, tell you my. You know worst. what? Honestly, one of my favorite players growing up. I like a Brett Butler. That's a good one. That I'll, I'll give you that one. Brett Butler was. He's one of the. He's one of the reasons growing up as a kid why I started batting left handed. <laughs> I, I I I would say that's a good Brett call. Butler, he that's was a good he call. Was awesome. Okay, so my wish list would be the Dodgers five straight rookies of the year. There you okay? go. Okay, Eric Carlos, Mike Piazza, Hideo, uh, Raul Montesi, Hideo Nomo, and Todd Hollingsworth. There you go. I would love to see a ball into that. If they ever did one, they'd probably do a small one. But this is what I would like them to do. Please, Dodgers, listen to me, okay? <laughs> Give away five different bobbleheads and have five different bobblehead nights for those players. But do it kind of like an interconnecting one. But, ha but haven't they had issues in the past getting a bobblehead from Mike Piazza? Okay, so I, I can talk about that a little bit from what I've heard. And I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, Mike Piazza may have think that Dodger fans, you know, if he goes to the Dodger stand, may boo him. So I have heard that rumor before. We don't know if it's true or not, yeah. but I have heard that that... that uh, Mike Piazza does not want a bobblehead of himself, so that's probably would stop that. But that's just my wishes. That's what oh, I would exactly. love to see. I would like to see a Mike Piazza standalone. That would be amazing. But I think because of that issue, because I really think that if the reason that Eric Carroll's got his thing, and I think I, Eric Carroll was my favorite player growing up, the reason that he got his bobblehead, the the season they did the Dodger Stadium Greats bobblehead series that year, I forgot what year it was, um, that Mike Piazza would have gotten one. But I think he doesn't want one. Yeah. So, but that would be really, really cool. My one, like I said, one my stipulation for that one is give them individual ones. Do an interconnecting one because what they've done, you know, with uh, mo you know, bobbleheads, uh, dual bobbleheads in the past, whether it be uh, three, four, or two, or whatever the amount is, um, they've taken like a picture and they've mimicked that picture. So that would really be cool if they did that. And the picture that comes to mind is where you have the ball kneeling down. Yeah. Um, that'd be cool. Now the other bobblehead I would love to see is Jackie Robinson. Mm -hmm. I would love a Jackie Robinson. I've also heard other things that Jackie's wife, uh, Mrs. Robinson, does not want Jackie on the bobblehead. I've heard that. I don't know if it's true. That's just a rumor I heard. So I wonder if it's true. But I'm just glad that we got the statue of him a few years ago with Roy Campanella and Don Wintham. I'm glad we have that. So that's really, really cool. Okay. Do you have anything All else right. to add before we cut out? No, I, I'm just excited about the, the bobblehead season coming up. Yeah. And more. So let's go ahead and note some of the other non bobblehead giveaways. Um, some of the cool ones that are coming out are Justin Turner, Chia Pet, Bobblehead, <laughs> probably be of the beer. And uh, let's see, another stadium replica of Dodger Stadium, so that will be really cool. And uh, Magic Johnson Garden Gnome. Yeah. So, of course, go. they're having a lot more promotions. I'll go ahead and put the link to the promotions down below, so check that out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it's going to look like a great Bobblehead season. I can't wait to see the other Bobbleheads that they name and then do videos on that about our reaction. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I have for right now, guys. And yeah. looking forward to the 2016 Bobblehead Series. And yeah, for True Blue Bobblehead Crew, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for checking out the True Blue Bobblehead Crew. You can also find them on Facebook at True Blue Bobbleheads and Instagram at True underscore Blue underscore Bobbleheads, Twitter at True Blue Crew 2, Snapchat at True Blue Crew 23. And remember, stay true, stay blue. We are the True Blue Bobblehead Crew.